service member. I hope this card finds you in good health and preparing to enjoy the holidays. At this time of year, I always reflect on what I can be thankful for. I was raised in a loving home by wonderful parents. My folks, Rosie and Luke, send their Christmas greetings to you along with mine. Nevada City has been home to the Spellman family for three generations. I could have left, but everything that was important to me was here. Our lives are not about things. Family and friends, people, are at the heart of it. You won't find a chain store or a mall around here, and, and that suits us just fine. Our local church organizes Operation Christmas Card every year for our troops overseas. The church is at the center for many of our activities and social events, and the doors are open 24 hours a day to anyone. Believe me, you have many friends here. You just haven't met them yet. I'm sure being far from your loved ones weighs heavy on your heart. I know a little about that. When I met my boyfriend, he was everything I was looking for. Since then, his business has kept us living far from one another. I'll bet you'll be back with your family long before he and I live in the same zip code. Jones. Hey, hey, how about snapping a photo, Chief? Where'd you boys get those hats? From the dancers mm -hmm. at the USO show. Yeah. Well, a Christmas card for you from our admirers back in the States. The church group from my home sent us all Christmas cards. Give it to one of the boys that didn't make the show. Can't do that, Sarge. The Army entrusted me with the assignment of giving you this card. If you're ever out west, please come visit us. We'd love to thank you in person for your service and sacrifice. I speak for everyone in Nevada City when I say that we are grateful to you for making sure that we're safe and secure. I'm attaching a photo of our church. Know that the lights there are burning for all of you tonight in the hope that next Christmas you'll be home and the world will be at peace. You're in our thoughts and you're in our prayers with loving best wishes for the season. Faith Spellman. Get a nice Christmas card, Team Sard? I did, Jonesy, thank you. Looks like you got quite a handful of goodies there. My fiance Lee would like you to have a cookie. She would, would she? Said so herself. Thank her for me. This is her most recent photo. She gets prettier every day. You're a lucky man. Merry Christmas, Sard. Merry Christmas. You, Lewis, but I did not sign up for this. You got that right, brother. Hey, me and Lady picked a date last night. Nice. Valentine's Day. Congratulations, Jonesy. Thanks. Lady and I would like you to be there.
Talk site, please, sir. I'm sorry to hear about Sergeant Jones. Lousy luck. It was, sir. You're about to rotate home. Thinking of extending, sir. I think you need to take some leave, Cullen. Look, Jones wasn't your fault. Time for some R and R. That's an order, Sergeant. I need you to do something for me. There's a young widow stateside that needs these. And while you're home, don't think about the army. Think about your life. What you want, your family. A career out of this uniform we wear. I've stood watch a long time now. Maybe it's time to find out what's next. I would have given my life for him if I had the chance. I came here because I wanted to tell you. He really loved you. Chicken salad club, curly fries, mm -hmm. extra crispy. Right. White wheat or rye? Rye. And uh, hot chocolate. Marshmallows. Even better. How you doing? <laughs> what latrine is? Go. Faith, that isn't yours. Whose is it? It's his. You ordered a chicken salad club on rye with 
crispy curly fries and hot chocolate with marshmallows? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What are the odds? Oh, yeah, that never happens. Let me give you some of my fries. <laughs> it's okay, really, it's fine. I've gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry about the fries. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I was hoping you had a room available. Ah, uh, yes, quite a few, actually, but that's only for tonight. After that, I'm filled up through Christmas. Well, one night would be fine, ma'am. Oh, good. Then I'll have you fill this out, if you don't mind. So, are you visiting folks for the holiday? No. Um, I'm just passing through. Well, then we'll have to do our best to impress you quickly, won't we? Um, breakfast is at 8. I was thinking of attending church in the morning. It's right at the top of the hill. Uh, we could sit together, if you like, I mean. Oh, ma'am, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> your keys are. God rest ye merry gentlemen. Let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To Son. Morning. Nice shine on those shoes. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, I bet you're the visitor that Selma wants to sit next to today. Yes, sir. She's uh, quite the host. Oh, you couldn't pick a finer church. It's beautiful. What's your name? Uh, Cody Cullen, sir. Deacon of the month, Luke Spellman. It's a real honor to meet you, sir. Honor? <laughs> I guess you haven't caught wind of my reputation. There's an old Hebrew saying, be kind to strangers. By doing so, we may be entertaining one of God's angels. That's right. So we'd like to welcome and warmly greet any of you who, who might be uh, a stranger among us, uh, here visiting for the first time. Uh, any any, any uh, visitors, please stand at Come this on, time. Cody, and uh, stand we want to make you feel welcome, make you feel at home here in God's house on this fine holiday season. Ah, welcome, young man. Welcome, sir. And we'd like to invite you for refreshments after the service, right? All right, let's sing number 240. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. shine upon you. Go forth in peace.
glad to see you're awake. <laughs> what I mean is, Reverend Ives gives a poignant sermon, but sometimes it's a poignant, long-winded sermon. Well, I, I like the message and the music. No, oh, they're great. Shiny shoes and a surbit. I gather you must be army. Well, I'm currently on leave. Yeah, I, I, I serve too. Uh, with Vietnam? It wasn't a Crimea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come here, man. Excuse me, I'd like to steal my daughter for a oh. second. <laughs> Cody, this is my somewhat attractive daughter, Faith. We saw each other in the diner yesterday. You two already met? We're both fans of curly fries. Extra crispy. Uh, uh, Cody's army, sergeant. On leave. Oh, do you have family in town? No. No, I'm just... I'm just passing through. Faith, honey, would you mind taking Mrs. Cleveland to her car? She wants to go home. Well, Cody Cullen, it was nice meeting you. Um, hope you have safe travels during the holiday. I'll take you, Mrs. Cleveland. Um, it was really great meeting you, sir. Great to meet you. You come back anytime. Soon. place. How you doing? Oh, banged up my bad hip and bruised my shoulder, but thank God for your special ops reflexes. Oh, we haven't had a chance to meet yet. I'm, I'm Rosie Spellman. Cody Cullen, ma'am. I'm just so grateful you were there. We all are. Oh, I'm just glad you finally got to meet the love of my life. <laughs> well, you just have to come home and have dinner with us tonight, Cody. I mean, we got to be able to thank you some way. I'm going to head out. Ah, um... oh, come on. Humor the injured. It's been a long time since I talked to Army with a fella grunt. Well, I won't take no for an answer. And besides, we've got plenty of extra rooms at the house. You can just stay the night. Be smart. Be smart. Surrender now. We'd love for you to join us. Consider it settled. Welcome to the Spellman family. Marsh. You can go ahead and put it right there next to Pops. Oh, okay. Smells really good. My mom was baking blueberry muffins this morning. She bakes morning, noon, and night during holiday season. You like it? Oh, yeah. It's everything I thought it would be. I'm sorry? You know when you imagine someone's home, it's very cozy and inviting. Come on, I'll show you the guest bedroom. These are some of the men who served with Dad and never made it home. He salutes them every day. But I don't mean to tell you about that bond. My mom calls him his mistress. She always credits the army with teaching dad the skills for a good marriage. Loyalty, commitment, love of family, and the ability to do his own laundry. I believe she really taught him that, but it seems more masculine to credit the military. Come on. So, this'll be your room. The bathroom's right around the corner. I'll hang you some towels. Yours will be the green ones. Okay, thank you. Um, Faith, I wanna... Uh... Faith, we're back. Can you come help with dinner? Coming, Mom! Take your time, settle in. I'll see you later.
Cody. Got me Rosie's cousins from Grass Valley. This is Jack and Suzanne. Hey, Jack. Uh, hi. My boy, Sammy and Henry. The yeah. Scalawags. <laughs> My daughter, Rebecca. The beauty. Cody, would you mind going out to the garage and grabbing a couple of folding chairs for the boys? Point me in the right direction. I'll show you. Ah, uh, 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 okay, but no lifting for you. The doctor doesn't want you using that arm at all. Fine, fine. I'm just going for a walk with my hero, buddy. It's really great to have you here. Great to be here. Man. It's like somebody's got a couple hobbies. Yeah, I wanted to build a sleigh, but one with wheels on it. Rosie gets a kick out of this thing. Says it's romantic. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I suppose that hog's for Rosie, too, huh? Oh, no, no, no. That one's for me. Not too much lately, though. The eyes are slowing. Mm. Wow, what a great spot. Yeah, that's up off of Highway 49. It's uh, got a beautiful view of the Yuba River. You ought to see it before you leave. That view. Yeah. It's a California memorial site dedicated to those who died in Vietnam. My dad died in Vietnam. I'm sorry to hear that. Hit my mom pretty hard. She passed away after I graduated from high school. Oh. You know, sometimes I... I think that's why I joined the Army. Mm. I thought it'd fill that void somehow. So, well, what are you doing for the holiday? I'm not really sure. Eh? I got a business proposition for you. I, I own a mill, a family business. Now, with this injury, I really could use your help here, especially during the holiday. It's one of the busiest times of our year. I don't want to take your money, Luke. Maybe I could work for room and board, something like that. Well, yeah, great, great. That'll get Richard off my back, squawking about taking on more help. Yeah, yeah it's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. What, what are you doing? Oh, I was surprised, Rosie. So, you know, it's like fate brought you here. Yeah. Sure. Um, not fate. Exactly. Huh? Well, I got this Christmas card. What? It's been a real lifeline for me. I. <gasps> she brought you here. Don't you think it's a little odd that a grown man would travel this far based on a card? Have you told her? Maybe we should keep it to ourselves for now. Oh, no problem. It doesn't matter how you got here. It's just great. That you're here with us now. How fast was that crazy guy going? 40. I'd say 40 up that hill. Jeez. Without him, I'd be pushing. Food's out! Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, boy. Perfect timing, Uncle Richard. I know my cue, Daddy. <laughs> hey, the gang's all here! How is it that you always seem to arrive after all the work is done and at the very instant that the food is out? Genius timing. Richard, meet Cody Cullen. A real live hero. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, you'll be getting to spend extra time with this real live hero because he just agreed to stay on through the holidays and help us, I should say you, at the mill. Great. I'll teach you everything I know. Where's your sling? Oh, Rosie, you know I heal fast. Well, might as well eat while it's hot. Yeah, look out. Uh, there's nothing for you. You've already come back. They got you. Let us give thanks. Thank you, Lord, for the meal we are about to receive. And thank you for our family and friends, both old and new. Please take care of those or away from their homes this day. And during this Christmas season, please let us all find peace. Amen. Why is you sweat like that when you work for me? <laughs> like a twinkle toes. <laughs> Dishes are done. Oh, that's good. Offside, 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 Get back over here. Hey, there he is over there. Offside here. Oh, oh, oh. I wish I could play. They'd probably kill me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Come on, Dad. What? The way Uncle Richard plays, we could use a referee. That's an idea. I'd love to blow the whistle on him. Come on. Ho, 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 he's offside! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's a pass, it's a pass! Oh, oh, oh. Who's got it? Who's got it? Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Those kids are tough. Bye, Henry! Bye! Bye, Sammy! Merry Christmas! See you in a few weeks! Hey, you're up late. Hey. I was just gonna get something to drink. Help yourself. Hot chocolate. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Your parents are great. Aren't they? They both know when to lead and when to follow. Neither feels the need to compromise. It's really inspiring. I'd love to have that with someone one day. Got quite a few cars to write there. Oh, not really. I already sent the ones to the troops at Thanksgiving, so now it's just friends and family. It's a really special thing that you do. Not really. Doesn't make that big of a difference. Faith, it makes a huge difference. In many ways, it saved my life. My mom and I, we made a card for my dad when he was in Vietnam. I know he got the card, and it meant a lot to him. Did he make it back? Oh, uh, no. Well, getting a card from someone you know has got to have a lot more meaning than getting one from a complete stranger. I got a card once. The words kept me going. last few weeks we've been selling Christmas trees. Definitely everyone's favorite season. Oh, yeah. Someday it'll all go to faith. Wow. What's all this for? What working. The guys use it whenever they get the urge. Usually just my brother-in-law, Richard. He's a master craftsman. And since his wife died, I guess he just likes to pass the hours in here. Yeah. Let's go look at the office. Hello, everybody. Morning. This is where the beauty and brains of our outfit hang out. Needless to say, my chair is over there. That doesn't mean we don't let them buy us lunch. Faith, our lovely daughter, sits over there and handles all the accounting, plus counting the dots. Counting the dots, what's that? Mm, well, it's silly, really. Never mind. <laughs> Good morning, all. Uh -huh. uh, Armin messed up the uh, Heartland lumber order. Really? Yeah. You know, he can't load logs, he can't load lumber. Yeah. My order says 1,200 board feet of cedar. And uh, Armin, he stacked up about 1,000. Oh, Richard. All right, let's go work it out. Uh, uh, Faith. Would you finish the tour with Cody and be sure and show him our magic spot? Sure. Come on, Richard. <laughs> Are you ready? See ya. Okay, this is our head rig, our edger and resaw. These cut the logs into three sizes, six by six, six by four, uh, eight by eight. And then the jackets go up over the chipper and down to the chip truck for hauling. The chips get used in playgrounds and gardening mulch. The rest goes to electric plants. 
If we didn't use every inch, we wouldn't have a profit. Come on, I'll show you the best part of the tour. You really love working at the mill, don't you? Can you tell? Yeah. I do, I love it. One day I was gonna go away and work in the city, but oh, I love my mom, my dad, I love the work we do, I love being outside. See, look how beautiful this place is. This is my parents' favorite place in the whole world. I can see why. This is where my dad proposed to my mom before he left for Vietnam. When he was gone, she came here every day to pray for a safe return. When he got back, they were married here. And they named me Faith because they never lost faith that they would always be together and have a family. Have the Miller delivery a day later. I hate it, but go ahead. Anybody shoot at you? Not today, Dad. <laughs> Did you show up my magic spot? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. well, why don't you take Cody with you and check on that load? Right. Keep him out of trouble. You met you. I'm talking to Cody. <laughs> <laughs> What's scary is he meant it. I'm known to be a bit reckless around here. That keeps things exciting. How long have you been with the company? Since high school. I introduced my sister to the boss's son for job security. It looks like it worked. Didn't expect to see him. It's Paul, Faith's very long distance boyfriend. She's like Job waiting for him to take things to the next level. He's been moving slower than molasses. That's 1990. No, I'll use it later. Hello? What a surprise. Is that? <gasps> Rosie, Luke. How nice to see you, Paul. Paul? What are you doing here? I wouldn't miss Christmas with my girl. You were supposed to be traveling through Europe. I know, but I'm going to work out of the Napa office for a couple of weeks. I'm so glad you're back. I brought some delicious wine back to go with your great cooking. Well, then you better come over for dinner tonight. I'd love to. If you don't mind, I'd like to steal Faith away for lunch. What do you think, boss? Can I take an early one? Well, uh... H have fun. We'll see you later. See you tonight. Hey there. I could use that quarterback arm of yours out in the mill, okay? Um. If you require a hammer, I'm your man. I got a little woodworking project. I was kind of hoping you'd help me out with it. Sure. All right. So he's staying here in the house? Yeah. Well, do you know anything about this sergeant hero? There are some twisted freaks in the army, too, you know. Your eyes are about the same shade of green as our guest bathroom towels. I'm not jealous. I'm just protective. You mean a lot to me. Hi. Hi. Hey. Sure put in a lot of hours today. Hope Richard didn't work you too hard. He looks like he can handle it. Hi, I'm Paul. Cody. Faith told me how you saved Luke the other day. I'm impressed. Sure you would have done the same? Paul's in the wine business, and we were about to have a tasting, if you'd care to join us. Oh, that'd be great. Let me clean up, and I'll come back and start a fire. No need, I got it covered. Great. Here, honey, have a seat. Oh, you brought it. Oh, 
got the wine. I'll get some stuff to go with it, okay? <laughs> I'd say this is a fruity wine, isn't it? Mm. This wine you brought is really good, Paul. <sighs> yeah, this stuff really does taste... What was he said, Paul? Full-bodied and romantic? <laughs> Aromatic. Okay. I picked it up when I was in France last month. I toured the chateaus of the Alsace region. They're known for their whites, especially their Rieslings, which are sometimes confused with German wines. Why is that? Uh, because the grapes are very similar. Uh, speaking for myself, I found I always uh, prefer a French fry to a French wine. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Good worker, dear. Pull over in here. Uh, we're running low on Christmas trees. Guess we'll be cutting some more tomorrow. Let's go get the girls. Hey, how's it going? Oh, great. Yeah, I think we're just about ready to quit for tonight. <laughs> what is... <gasps> you read my mind. I'm starving. What are the bags for? Care packages for the people at the shelter. <laughs> we're really low on winter clothing. We really need uh, mittens, hats, scarves, and especially sweaters. Okay. Um, where's your boyfriend, Faith? He seems to have disappeared. Oh, he's out of town on business. He'll be back when he can. Oh. Hey, Cody! You gonna be a logger, you gotta look the part. Wow, thanks, Luke. That's awesome. Go on, put it on. We'll be twins today. That's scary. <laughs> you know, he's just trying to butter you up. He knows that cutting Christmas trees is gonna be the most exhausting day of your life. Morning, boys. Morning, Daddy. Paul's volunteered to help cut Christmas trees with you. All the Who's in Whoville better run for it. <laughs> morning. Good morning. I'm glad you can make it. Are you ready? No. Come on, Paul Bunyan. Let's cut you loose. I'll see you later. We get a thousand feet above the mill, we hit the snow line. Your cell phone works up here? This is Paul. Don't cut anything under five and a half feet. And only the ones that are crowded, huh? No, no, it's okay. I, I, I told him I was there. Uh... down trees in the woods. I don't know if it's a forest or uh, some sort of tree hatchery. Uh, the is that, um, and you talk to, to Roberto about that? And what's Roberto say? 
Uh, what I told James in the office is... No, thanks. I'm glad you called. Just couldn't wait. No, I wasn't busy at all. All right. Listen, you have a Merry Christmas. I will. I will. You too. Oh, you guys really went to town. How long was I on that call? About two hours. Sorry, uh, James in New York had a problem with the shipment out of France. Can I help? No, we're done. We're late, but thanks. You boys have fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was hard work. We'll make a woodsman out of you yet. Come here. Cody, darling, I'm feeling a little tender. Would you mind? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello, ladies. Hey, what do you have there? You mentioned that you were putting together boxes and you needed a few extra items, so last night I went out and bought some stuff. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so generous. <laughs> hey, what do you have, Cody? Oh, just a few things I was going to donate to the cause. Oh, how nice of you, Cody. Let me help you with that. Come on. That way. He's such a gentleman. Paul. Everybody was really impressed with what you did in there. What about you? Of course I'm impressed. I'm really proud of you. You seem more taken with Cody. What you both did was wonderful. Come here. Hey. Ah, top of the morning. That looks complicated. Ah, I've been doing it a long time. It's pretty simple. We just uh, count the boards with the sizes. It's a uh, four by six, six by six, six by eight. This is how we keep track of them. We have a uh, coded dots, and each dot counts for a board. You get five dots like this, then you just connect the dots with the line. The line also counts for another board. Are these the dots that the Faith likes? <laughs> I taught her how to count them before she's even old enough to count. That's why I call her Duddy. Would you take that uh, tally sheet back to the office for me? Morning, everybody. Morning. Well, you missed breakfast. Oh, I got up early. Went for a run. Well, why didn't you tell me? I could have gotten up and watched. <laughs> <laughs> nice flowers. They're from Paul. From my mom. Isn't it clever? Roses for Rosie? Too clever for my Luke to have figured out. He always brings me dogwood blossoms. Not that I'm cheap. I just like to pick flowers from our special place. He's a friend of Richard. <laughs> oh, I love kind of dots. I know that sounds silly, but it's my favorite thing to do. So you like to recount the dots and that makes you happy? Immensely. Hey, you're a lucky day, Cody. Lesson number two, how to sharpen chipper blades. <laughs> Pardon me. Good luck. Cody! Sir. Ah. Listen, we need you to count up that wood stack over by the multi-head resaw. I'm sending out a load. When you finish up tonight or tomorrow morning, Whenever. I want you to get the totals over to Faith. Okay. Thanks. Well, that shouldn't take you much time. You didn't have anything planned for tonight, did you? <laughs> See you in the morning. If I'm done by then.
morning. Hey. Do you know what this is? It's a tally for the lumber that's being sent. Hmm. Let me know if it doesn't add up, Dottie. What are you two up to? Just working on a little Christmas project for Sammy. Oh, good. Yeah. Hey, you didn't forget about the Christmas dance tonight down at the Veterans Hall, did you? Oh, um, you know, I think I'm going to stay here, Luke, and finish up some uh, odds and ends. What? Well, good. Maybe I can get a woman to dance with me with you not there. Richard, 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 who are you kidding? You don't stand much of a chance with or without Cody. Come on, come on. It'll give you a good chance to meet some great veterans. And if you don't get down there tonight, Rosie's gonna be very ticked at you for not tasting her baby back pork ribs. I mean it. All right, we'll be right behind All you. All right. Don't forget, hurry up. Yeah. You too, Richard. Hey, it's How's wrong? Just what I need. I'm gonna find my lovely wife and take her for a spin. Well, what'll I do? Try amusing yourself. Cody, you feel like a little uh, spin with me? No. Faith looks like she's having fun. Yeah, she deserves better. I think it treats her pretty well. For the moment, not for the long run. It's lasted quite a while already. Nothing but a long, stretched out romance. Every time she talks to him about the future together, he disappears to pursue some new goal to secure their future. Maybe now he's ready to commit. Well, that's exactly what Luke and I are afraid of. I'm gonna grab a soda. You want one? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> this is yours if you go dance with Paul. You can buy a lot of bingo cards. Deal. Excuse me, may I cut in? Uh huh. Sure. Be good. Thank you. You snooze, you lose. Care to dance? Sure. Mm -hmm. Quite a nice couple. Except they're not a couple, honey. Faith and Paul are a couple. Yeah. What kind of couple sees each other a handful of times a year? Come on, she's not a child. You have to respect her choices. Well, good in theory, but speaking as a father, he's not the right guy for her. He's not that bad a guy. Mm -hmm. Besides, he's crazy about faith. And so's Cody. Where you been? Look at him. They don't make them any better than him, Lucy. Anyway, I know true love. I see it. Mind if I cut in? Excuse me, can I have my dancing partner back? I need to go freshen up. It's just a dance, Paul. Everything okay? She's marking his territory. But strange things happen when you're dancing. Thanks, Faith. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course. Paul's still MIA? 
He's on his way back from a business trip in Napa. What exactly does he do for a living? Yeah, Faith. What exactly does he do for a living? He's an international wine broker. Oh, yeah. Spends far more time internationally than he does with my daughter. Hey, Eric. Hey. Sorry about the delay. Traffic over the bridge is stacked. Hey, I don't believe it. What's that? I don't think I've ever seen you wear jeans. Well, believe it or not, later today I'm heading back up to help Faye sell Christmas trees. <laughs> you must really love this girl. There's another guy trying to move in on her. Well, this should seal the deal. So you gonna move up to the boonies, become a mountain man? Ah, uh, no way. Once Faye says yes, she's coming on the road with me. What if she doesn't want to leave? She's ready. Well, the problem is he's supposed to be selling trees with Faith down at the lot. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss out on that. Well, let's stay. We'll have dinner, celebrate. All right. Waitress? Listen, Cody, it, it, it'd really look bad if we miss our turn selling trees down at the children's Christmas charity lot. You mind taking Faith down there and getting her started selling? Works for me. Thanks, Cody. That'd be great. Paul can meet us up there. I'll run. Go get my coat. One man's loss is another man's gain. Nice meeting you, Cody. Nice to meet you, Mr. Lombardo. Thanks, Faith. Merry Christmas to your mom and dad. I'll tell them. Bye. Bye. That was great. Really fun. We got a serious catch, huh? <laughs> what? You're covered in needles. It's better. You seem happier than when you first got into town. Oh, what are you saying? I was stuffy? Cautious. Compliments of the army. Wait. I'll be right back. Picture of you. Cheese? Cheese. <laughs> Cody Collins. Hey. Yep. Hey. Looking for a tree. Cody will help you out. What do you need? We got 10 footers, 8 footers. Hey. Wait a second. I'm going to take your picture. That's 20. She's a beauty. Traffic was a nightmare. It's OK. Everything's working out. It's not too late. We can go home, open up a bottle of wine, sit in front of the fire. Um, I just have to finish off a couple of, couple of things here first. No, no, it's OK. You guys, go ahead. Thanks, Cody. Oh, we got this. It's cold out here. You think this is cold? You should've been here this afternoon. Where are we going for dinner?
What you doing here? Went for an early morning walk. How about you? I was delivering wedges to Uncle Richard. I gotta get back. Oh, I'll go with you if you want. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Faith. I'm, I'm sorry. Faith. I kissed him, Mom. I love Paul. I kissed Cody. Oh, it was you were just wrapped up in the moment. It was just a, a brief lapse in judgment, no? I'm not sure it was. What am I gonna do, Mom? Only you can answer that question, darling. like Paul, don't you? But it's who you love that matters. I've always thought Paul would be the man I would spend my life with, raise a family with. You just have to remember, sweetheart, you've got to follow your heart. I love you, Mom. I can come back later. What's going on around here? I'm sorry. Uh oh, I said I'm sorry. Must be a doozy. I kiss Faith. Finally. Well, judging by the scene in the office, she must have kissed you back. Did you hear the news? What news? <laughs> Love is in the air. What are you talking about? Well, your daughter was outflanked by special forces. Oh, uh, what happened? He planted a big one on her. What she did? She turned bright red. Yeah. They seem to like it. They both seem to like it. Good. It's going according to plan. Oh, you have a plan? Of course I have a plan. I've always had a plan. Where is she now? She's up with her mom. Huh? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, I gotta go talk to her. Can I come? Don't be silly. Where's Faith? She was upset, so she went home early. Did you hear? You... You're stirring up trouble and looking for a smack on the bottom. Now, Rosie, don't you get me all excited. <laughs> this is a better batch than the last one you made. What's no. wrong with the last one? You didn't have enough flour in there. Look at this. Plenty of flour. Thanks. No, no, you're wrong. I mean, I keep telling you this, and every year you give me the same grief. Oh, you... Let me see what he's doing. The fact. <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, it's hey. about time. You're missing all the fun. You okay, Cody? Yeah, everything's good. Come in! Hello? Hey, hi. Hi, Paul. Wow, you guys are doing good work here. Mm -hmm. Make yourself at home. Grab some sugar sprinkles. I'd love to, Rosie. But uh, actually, I wanted to know if I could steal Faith away for the evening. <clears throat> it's getting cold in here. Cody, go get some firewood. My work is done here. Let me help you. Got you a surprise. Thanks. So cute. <laughs> Listen, I know we've only known you for a short while, but I want you to know you've become family here. We've all come to love you. I mean all of us. Luke, I didn't plan on any of this. Hmm? Soldiers bond with one another. They become a band of brothers and sisters, a family. 
Their job is to defend and come back home to those who are waiting for them. What you need is someone to come back to. Got it? Sit tight, I'll get the umbrella. Here you go, watch your step. Right this way. your customers. The place looks deserted. Is the table ready for you? What's going on, Rachel? We're closed tonight. We have a private party. And for you, enjoy your meal. What are you up to? I just thought we haven't had any quality time together. So you bought out Citrone for an entire night during the busy season? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. To us. To us. Thank you. OK, I'm having shrimp. I know that Christmas is only two days away, and I probably should have waited until then, but I can't wait another minute. Will you do me the honor of marrying me? Paul. I love you. Of course I'll marry you. We'll spend all of our anniversaries traveling through Europe. Wherever I go, you'll go with me. We'll spend the rest of our lives traveling the world. to say, Paul and I got engaged last night. That's great. I'm really happy for you. Paul's a great guy. I'm happy for you, Faith. Once we get married, we can have Christmas in Belize. <laughs> and miss spending it here with my family? We're going to start our own family in Napa. Honey, we never discussed leaving Nevada City. You know I love working at the mill. And you know I love spending time with my family. I thought you did, too. We can get a little place up here. We'll split our time. Relationships are about compromise. I really thought about that. It's gonna be okay. Your dad's gonna find someone to replace you and we'll, we'll come up and we'll visit him all the time.
What you got? Ah, oh, good times. Good times. I guess you've heard by now? Yeah. Richard's wearing black. Whatever happened to the young man asking the father's permission? Well, if he's happy, I'm sure you would have said yes. Yeah. Uh, listen, son. I, I know that you've fallen in love with Faith. It's so easy for you to retire from the Army now with your tours of duty and years of service. You can stay on here and work at the mill and run it one day. I can't stay. She's marrying somebody else. Exactly my point, but Paul isn't the one. Yeah, where's your sense of fighting for the right thing? Well, there's something to be said for not invading where you don't belong. You can't retreat now. You need to tell her how you feel. It's the right thing to do. Well, the right thing to do is to move on. Okay. To the guy who saved my life. To the guy who saved mine. I'm not at all happy about this engagement. Faith made a decision. We've got to support her. Well, Cody's leaving because of it. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. But that's his decision. Look at all these. Hello. Hey, Dad. I'm stuck at the mill and my battery's dead, and I can't find Paul. Can you come pick me up? I'm on my way. Pace battery died and she can't find Paul. You want me to go with you? Oh, no. It, it's way too cold out there for old people like us. Luke Spellman. Hmm? Mm hmm? We're back. That was a sleigh ride. Oh, as usual, very romantic. Faith's battery died. Would you uh, run to the mill and pick her up? Oh, look, I don't think that's such a good idea. Humor me. This is Faith's favorite blanket. OK. Keep the lines tight, but be gentle on the bit. Yeah. She'll do the job. You sure about all this? Positive. Let her rip. Yeah. Not my idea. I'm sorry about what happened in the woods the other day. It was unfair of me to give you the wrong idea. I'm not sorry. The, the time I spent with you, the, the kiss, I'll have that the rest of my life. You deserve to be happy, Cody. I'm going to be happy. Come on. It's cold. <laughs> easy on the bit. I want you to have this. It'll keep you safe and warm after you leave. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> 
Come to pop. Cody, grab a girl. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, Cody. <laughs> Change your partner's dozy do I really should be going. What? I have some stuff to finish off for tonight's service. Oh, come on. I have some things to take care of also. Uh, may I borrow the truck? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, remember, Christmas Eve service is at 7. If I'm finished, sir. OK, Cody, but you try, huh? It's, it's, it's a beautiful service. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I'll try. Still here. You're a lucky man, Paul. Love, not luck, had a big part in my good fortune. I need you to know I'm in love with Faith, but I know she loves you, and I hope you're doing this for all the right reasons. Understood. shown all around, and they were very much afraid. The angel said to them, do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. The image of the Holy Family puts me in mind of our own Nevada City and the families here. <coughs> Jesus came for the world, yet like all of us, he was a small town kid who never strayed far from his loving family. He was surrounded by people who loved each other and had as his example Joseph who by choosing to stand by Mary set the standard for doing the right thing, for making the kinds of choices that call upon us to set aside our own desires for another's welfare. Is there any greater gift we can give or larger goodness we can do? I don't think so, friends. I just want to remind everybody to be sure to say a prayer for our brave men and women and the armed services who are overseas in harm's way on this holiday season. All right? Now that your candles are lit, let's all sing Silent Night. <clears throat> Sorry.
Cody's bike out front. Do you know where he went? No, you? I don't like this. His bed's made up. Looks like all of his stuff is gone. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, he, he left a card and, and a, a map or something. Huh? Um, dear Rosie, Faith, Luke, and Richard, the last couple of weeks have meant the world to me. You invited me into your home. And for that, I will be eternally grateful. I've lived a lifetime here in Nevada City and will cherish every memory, every image. I wish you all a lifetime of love, happiness, and peace. Merry Christmas, Cody Cullen. P.S. If you follow this map, you'll find your Christmas present. Look. Let's go. Well, when are we going to open our Christmas presents? Huh. Easy does it. Come on. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'll be darned. Where the magic begins. What time Cody must have spent on this. This is what you two were working on until the wee hours? Guilty as charged. Oh, Richard, thank you. Oh, don't thank me, thank Cody. It's all his doing. I just showed him how to hold a hammer and nail a nail and work the table saw. Mm -hmm. Dear Faith, I've fallen in love with you twice now. Once when this beautiful woman swiped some of my crispy curly fries. And then the first time when a thoughtful, tender woman sent me this card. I want to thank you for showing me how amazing love can make me feel. I hope all your dreams come true, Cody. So, this card brought him to Nevada City? No, you did. Dad, I have to find him. I have an idea. Sergeant Cullen, you forgot something. Chicken salad sandwich on rye with curly fries. Extra crispy. No hot chocolate? You'll have to come back to Nevada City for that. How'd you find me? Dad knew you'd never leave town without visiting the Vietnam Memorial. If you ever, ever leave town without saying goodbye again, I swear I'll... Thank you. 